at 12 o'clock, we got our first unranked matchup of the day and our last 12 o'clock matchup of the day. We got Purdue, who's three and two, traveling to Maryland, who's four and one. Maryland fair by three points on the Big Ten Network. Uh, next, we're going to be start hitting the 3:34 o'clock window. So this is our end of the early morning window, guys. I'm probably not going to see most of these games because I'm going to be at the Florida Mizzou game. Let's get it again. If you're a Florida student and you somehow stumble upon this video by miraculous means, go to the comment section below. Give me your uh, phone number. I'll, I'll text you. I'm trying to sell a ticket. So if you want a ticket to a Florida Gators game, I'm your guy. But the Purdue Boilermakers, Aiden O'Connell, has gone 113 to 174, thrown for 1,199 yards, eight touchdowns, three interceptions. Devin Mockaby on the ground, said 37 carries for 249 yards and three touchdowns. And Charlie Jones, the air, said 47 catches for 588 yards and seven touchdowns. Totally a tag of Iloa. It's gone 121.59, thrown for 1,416 yards, eight touchdowns, four interceptions. Roman Hemby on the ground has had 57 carries for 369 yards. Nice. Uh, and three touchdowns. And Deshaun Jones has had 19 catches for 253 yards and two touchdowns. So both these teams are coming off impressive wins last weekend, right? Purdue was playing in a must-have game against Minnesota on the road. Top 25 Minnesota team that had allowed 14 points all year through their four first four games not a single point scored in the first three quarters and purdue wins the game 20 to 10 against a really good minnesota team by the way the defense played phenomenally well and purdue has found a ground game ladies and gentlemen everyone give them a round of applause purdue has discovered the art of running the football it seems like a simple task but the boilermakers really do make it more complicated than it has to be but I think it's probably the most interesting aspect of this entire thing for the, the Boilermakers, the Maryland Terrapins, um, is Purdue is tied for first place with literally all the teams in the Big Ten West and literally the most confusing division in all of college football. Although, I don't know. The other side of the ACC, the ACC Atlantic, I think, it's very interesting as well. <laughs> it's confusing. Not because there's a lot of great football teams, it's because there's not any. But I think what that's what's going to be really interesting about this football game is Purdue kind of needs this one, right? I mean, like, you're playing in a division where literally anyone could win it. <laughs> it's up for grabs. Nebraska's tied for first place, if that really, if that sells the point that this is insane. Maryland's coming off a huge win against Michigan State, right? Uh, they lose to Michigan two weeks ago, and then they bounce back, get a huge victory over a Michigan State team, which probably isn't that good this year. They've shown every indication of not being the greatest in the world. But regardless, this is a Maryland team that has struggled very... They they very much struggled with Michigan State in the past. Remember, they'd only really... I don't think they've, they'd only ever won once at College Park. So that was their second ever victory over Michigan State at College Park. Um... This is going to be a struggle, and it's going to be hard for me to see who's going to win. I think Purdue goes on the road and pulls off the upset against Maryland and eliminates them from playoff contention. 